Hey, what's up guys? So Ipe here and today I want to make a video about how can you make content on your rank and rent or lead generation website stand out from the competition. Now this idea of why I wanted to make this video came from this post I made in our private Facebook group of our coaching program where basically I'm telling our group that the core of what we do is essentially you can make an analogy to back in the olden times like of war right of for example when Christopher Columbus took over the lands for the Native Americans they did so because they had better technology of warfare they had horseback they had muskets and cannons so in much the same way you can look at business like war i often like to read books like art of war and different things like that to give me inspiration how to strategize different business tactics right and at the end of the day what makes our business model so successful is that we're teaching you guys how to build bigger and better weapons in terms of these websites that are just way more powerful than what any of these local business owners have done and one of that power comes from the fact that we know that google loves authoritative websites and these other local lead gen websites only have five to ten pages so if you want to ensure that you can quit your job in the next six months to a year build 10 legion sites on snaps and continue to build pages on them and not just any pages but you want to build pages that are more valuable in the eyes of google than what the competition has done so i look at it as almost look at picture your legion website as each one of these horses you got these soldiers and when you have 10 legion sites 20 legion sites out there and you're publishing content on it each and every month it's you're giving each of these legion sites ammunition in which case what i'm going to teach you is not just have bow and arrow but if you do what some of the techniques that I myself and Dan are teaching you in our program it's like upgrading your weapon from bow and arrow to having like laser guns let's get into it guy asks, how can I make my content special or stand out then basically just hiring like a cheap content writer right so let's say you go to certain text brokers or different places to buy cheap content and basically let's just assume that it was about commercial roof repair now this is a company that's ranked at the top of first page on roofing in Chicago as you guys know Chicago is like gonna be very competitive and let's take for example commercial roofing services commercial roof repair now this is how thin their content is you and i both know we can make this content a lot more helpful to the end user what do people want to know when they look for services or products on the internet they want to know like how much does it cost usually right what kind of different roof repairs are there what kind of different clients have they serviced? So that already gives you a lot of big clues right there. I'm not gonna go into the basic strategies of finding other keywords to put on your article, which you can use tools like keywords everywhere to you just type in the main keyword, right? And you use keywords everywhere to find different related keywords, make sure that's all like as best as possible in your content. You can also use Google Keyword Planner. That'll give you more ideas. You can use Ahrefs keyword explorer and type in commercial roof repair and it's going to give you a bunch of other ideas these are base basic ways to find other keywords to include on your content make sure you're key you're not just sticking the keyword anywhere in the content it has to follow a certain context contextual flow you gotta think about outlining your article properly and making sure that the if you're gonna write about a certain keyword it has to fit in the context the words around that keyword has to fit right but let me get into other strategies that you guys can employ to make your content even more unique we have we can use chat gpt for different keyword examples so let's just start a new box give me 50 highly relevant entities and concepts related to commercial roof repair without their definitions boom now if you do this chat gpt will give you some 50 different ideas of different entities entities are what google considers a, a concept that google understands in their knowledge graph right so for example if you have commercial roof repair as a concept right google is gonna have all these other concepts in their neural network that has to do with commercial roof repair right roof penetrations roof slope 
all these different ideas now do you have to include all 50 no probably not that's probably overkill but if you can make your content more informationally dense than the competition by covering more of the knowledge graph then Google is going to look at your content as way more authoritative. Let's go. Another strategy you can employ is type in commercial roof repair on YouTube. Roof repair, how to seal. Okay, this is talking about commercial roof repair, TPO roof patch. I We saw, I feel like we saw TPO roof patch or TPO roofing. So this explains it. A good way is to just grab the, the link. Go to chat GPT forward slash GPTs. This is like custom GPTs, different tools that people have developed. Type in video summarizer. Okay, this one has 100K uses, so a lot of people use this. So go to video summarizer, create a detailed summary of, and then you just post the link to the YouTube video. And this tool is basically gonna create a written word summary of TPO roof patch. Okay, and this is something that you can include into your content. Okay, at the end of the day, the people talk about content is king. Make sure you use your critical thinking also, right? Because if all you do is copy your competition on the page one, why would Google want need to rank you? Like you're spitting out content that Google already indexed, right? Google is looking at this concept, commercial roof repair in, in Chicago. And if you duplicate what he has done, then Google don't really feel the need to rank you higher. So you have to do go the extra mile, right? And, and show Google, no, actually our content has more valuable information. Again, like I said, people want to look for prices, right? Just type in average price of commercial roof repair. Go into some of these articles, start getting grabbing some of this content. You can rewrite it in your own words, but this would be a valuable piece of content to have with a heading at the top, like a H2 or a H3. Average price of commercial roof repair, boom. Then you, have, you can write a whole section maybe a bullet point of different price breakdowns. Also look at some, look, let's go to Chicago, Illinois, right? Maybe let's try top restaurants in Chicago. Restaurants, gyms, any business, you name it, right? You, you begin to understand what different business and establishments exist in Chicago. You begin writing about it on your commercial roof repair page, but in the context of commercial roof repairs. So for example, you can write, we've done commercial roof repair in different establishments near West Town or what have you, or a restaurant like Rosemary or in that kind of neighborhood and this is what the roof repair costs and like use different tools to estimate or do Google searches to estimate how much a commercial roof repair kind of cost for an average restaurant. But like I said, you are now listing different famous establishments inside Chicago and Google is going to now look at your content as more highly relevant guys there's a lot more you can do to find different topics to write about sometimes there's people ask sometimes there's forum discussion posts from reddit and quora you can begin listing all these different questions that people are asking when it comes to commercial roofs and begin answering that in your article and doing this way of some just preliminary research for your topic each topic and what i like to do is some content briefs for my blog, epay.com, we have a big content brief of different questions that we kind of mine for each topic, different entities, different common people ask questions, different things we can find on social media, Reddit, Quora, YouTube. And this is how we make our content richer than the competition. And if you were to just do this for 10 different lead gen sites, like what I tell people is this, one of the biggest goals when people join our program is they wanna walk away from their nine to five as quickly as possible, right? Because at the end of the day, people get into our business model of being able to create passive income to be able to have more freedom in your lives, right? Now, there's a lot of different things you can do to make money today, right? Like such as pitching SEO, pitching um, pay, pay per lead models with using Google AdWords, pitching web builds, web design to business owners. But at the end of the day, I've been doing this for 10 plus years and the, the clients or the assets that have made me the most money over the long term for the least amount of effort and the least amount of maintenance over the long term are actually my lead gen clients. Sites that I've actually ranked at the top of Google and rented out to a local business owner. So 
once you know this piece of wisdom, then understand that most people can walk away from their job at like $5,000 a month. Let's just put an insurance policy and say, let's have you build 10 different Legion sites. And because it's, some of them might take a little bit longer, some of them you might not be able to find a great client. But if you build 10 and let's say average value of each of these Legion sites, once they're ranked is about $1,000 a month. If you build 10 and focus on building 10, and if you're updating, uploading new content on the 10 Legion sites each and every week, they will eventually rank because most local business owners are not going the extra effort to put this amount of valuable info in each of the articles, nor are they updating their articles and they're not publishing new articles. So if you have 10 Legion sites and look at 10 Legion sites as this army, this cavalry that you're building and you're focusing on building one new fresh content that's well-researched, good, valuable, high information density on each of these articles and you're publishing on a weekly basis, you're doing the one activity that makes it almost inevitable to be able to get to 5K a month in the next six months plus six, seven, eight months. And even if it takes a year, who cares, right? At the end of the day, people get shiny object syndrome. They go do other things. They go do other social media marketing and they come back to our business model. But if you could understand that having digital assets ranked at the top of Google is what's gonna secure your financial security in five, 10 years from to the future, then you would never forget to do the basics, which is build Legion sites, I suggest you use Snaps AI. This is what we have developed, what we use, or what our students use, because this site has pre-built web builders, and this site is also very fast. It's immune to getting hacked, and it's also got tools as well that help in our Legion business. Snaps.ai, build 10 Legion sites, publish articles on it, each of those sites on a weekly basis, even at least bi-weekly basis, you're gonna be able to rank you're gonna be able to make $5,000 a month, I'd say in the next six months, and you are well on your way to being able to walk away from your job. So if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be dropping more guides like this, more helpful tips when it comes to the lead gen slash rank and rent business model. We are a coaching program as well. We've been around for over, coming up on 10th year anniversary, and me and Dan, we're refilming the entire training right now, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, if you're interested in, in working with us, I have some links in the description where you can click to the next page and, and find more info. All right, so see you guys on the next one. Peace.